All right, so you want to be a real estate agent, right? Cool. Real estate can be an incredibly fulfilling first, second, tenth career, so long as you just play your cards right. So where exactly should you start if you want to be one? Well, I mean, if you want to work legally, then getting legally licensed to do it is probably a good place to start, so let's just start there. All right, so your first step is you're gonna have to figure out your state's licensing rules and your education requirements. And I'll just save you the headache here and I'll just put a link in the description to an article that'll do all the dirty work for you. So just check it out, familiarize yourself with it. It'll just tell you how many hours and anything you need is on your application. All right, so your second step is you're gonna actually have to take the pre-licensing course and get in those class hours. And don't worry too much, you're not gonna lose a lot of sleep over it. For better or for worse, real estate has an incredibly low barrier to entry when compared to most other professions. Real estate pre-licensing course will typically set you back anywhere from 60 to 100 hours and anywhere from 200 to 1,000 dollars. And just to prove my point just a little bit, to get your dog grooming certificate, it will actually take you 800 hours over the course of 20 weeks to legally groom a dog for money. Nice. However, say I lived in a state like Vermont, it would actually only take me 40 hours over the course of a week to have the credentials to buy and sell your largest asset. I mean, even in Texas, topping out with the highest class hour requirement of 210, that's still exactly a, not exactly, but more or less a fourth of a dog grooming certificate. And you have an even lower fraction when compared to trades and college degrees, so. Don't worry, you know, you can bang it out over a week, maybe two. Your third step is you're gonna have to actually pass your state exam. So once again, difficulty, time, subjective, price, you know, depends on state, but uh, an exam will take anywhere between one to four hours, cost anywhere from 15 to $60 for each attempt. Uh, and of course you can have unlimited attempts, but so long as you study your terms, you can get it out in one because the test kind of a joke. The pre-licensing course final will be much harder than the actual state final, so odds are if you got this far, it'll be fine. Even if testing is in your strong suit, don't sweat it. You can take it as many times as you'd like again, and you only need a 75% to pass, so. Once the deed is done, just make sure you grab that piece of paper that says pass on it, and your pre-licensing school certificate, and we can just move on to step four. And step four is filing an application. Once you've successfully passed your exam, you're going to have to submit the test results, the license application, application fees, and in most states, some background check. Uh, license application fees will set you back anywhere between 50 to 250, and the background check costs anywhere between 40 and 80, depending on what type of background check they want. And once you've submitted your application, you are now legally allowed to house in your state. Just as that expectation to give you a little sense of what it'll cost and how much time it'll take. I'll use myself in the state of Arizona as a quick example for you. In terms of fees, I spent roughly $500 on the pre-licensing course and around $250 on state stuff, uh, background checks, and testing fees for a grand total of $750. As for time, it took me about 110 hours over the course of two weeks. So what I did, I just called off two weeks from work, took 10 days to get out the 90 hours, one day to study, one day for the pre-licensing final, another day for the actual test exam, and to do my application. And on top of that, I just had a two day buffer just, just in case anything happened. And while I was lucky enough to pass both my final and my state exam on my first try, not having that two day buffer would have made things just, just a little complicated. As so, I highly recommend that you include a buffer in your plan just in case. So now that you have a license, you can go out and start selling, right? No. Almost every state requires you to work with a real estate brokerage and hang your license. So enter step five, choosing a real estate brokerage to work for, which, if I'm not mistaken, is coincidentally the title of a video I did where I broke down every step to selecting the right brokerage, which also just happens to be coincidentally linked in the description of this video and the end of this video, along with a playlist to help first year agents succeed. <laughs> Crazy. So you earned your license and you found a brokerage to baby you. You are now a realtor, right? 
wrong. Kind of. Step six is the part where you join the National Association of Realtors, or the NAR. While this step isn't entirely necessary, you can't be called a realtor without joining the Cool Kids Club. But, you know, the title is cool and all, but why do you join? Simple. Multiple listing service, which is pretty much mandatory in any residential field, so good luck working without it. Uh, all you have to do, go to your local board of realtors, just join. As you can see, getting your real estate license is a pretty decent load of work, so imagine doing that all over again, just because you forgot to renew your license. Yeah, probably don't want that. So step seven is just remember to renew your license regularly. Check with your state's requirements, see when your license will expire so you're not scrabbling to fit 90 hours in four days before it expires. Typically, you will need to renew your license every two to four years. And to renew your license, you just go back in the classroom and complete anywhere from 22 to 90 course hours. These course hours basically just keep you up to date on the market, state regulations, and all that fun stuff. And with all that said, we come to our final step, step eight, which is profit. Kind of, I guess. The stuff you learn in school, while important, is more so legal stuff to make sure you're competent and liable for your actions. And throughout the next few months, you actually learned most of the actual job you do, like prospecting and um, all that fun stuff to actually make money. And with all that said, I think you're set. Good luck out there. I expect great things from each and every one of you. So, until next time, later.